Hey everyone. So today we're going to make like a fancy pencil holder using our, using a water bottle. And we are going to use some yarn and you're going to need some scissors. Okay. So really neat stuff like the inside of your water bottle will look like this, but we're going to have an odd number of cuts along the side of this water bottle and then later on you can like hold your pencils or paint brushes in it and it'll look really nice um i wanted to show you some different things if you use thicker yarn you're going to get some little spacings like this which is not ideal and then if you use the thinner yarn it'll get nice and close together so things that i have learned while doing this the first thing you're going to want to do is cut off the top of your water bottle. Way up here, you want a nice tall holder for your pencils or your paintbrushes because stuff tends to be smaller. So we're just going to cut this across just like so. We're going to cut our label off right here too because we don't need this. There, easy cheesy. The more cuts you make on the side, the smaller these spots are. So if you want wide spots, I would cut five. And if you want really thin spots, I would cut like 10 or even nine. Try to keep it odd. All right, so I'm gonna cut this down. water out of that. Okay, so some of these are going to be a little thinner than others, but that's okay. If you really want them to be even, you're going to have to like figure it out before you start cutting. Alright, so here's the fun part. You take your yarn that you're going to use. I'm going to use pink today. So it just happens to be on my desk. And you're going to put like this tiny little knot. So do a little double knot right at the end. Because you don't want your yarn to slip out of the bottom of your... So this is it. This is your little knot that you're starting with. You're going to slide it all the way down to the very bottom of where you're going where you're starting and then it's just weaving so you're going outside and then inside so outside inside outside inside this one didn't get cut all the way down just pull it down with my yarn so outside then your next time you go through this is why you need it to be an odd number it's going to be on the inside of your bottle see this so that way we're on the hold up here did I skip one on accident did I pull it too hard nope we're good okay so we are just weaving and as we go I'm gonna make sure that we stay I'm gonna bring your pieces of yarn down so that way you have this nice weaved piece so starting it's a little awkward but then once you get going you're good So once you start getting like a little rhythm going, it'll be a lot faster as well. I like to try to hold them down so I can see where they're going to be. Is 
This is where you really start noticing how flimsy your water bottle is. Outside, inside, outside, inside. All right, so from this point, you can start seeing that things are starting to line up. I'm just going to continue on with this one because it's already really far ahead. Um, if you don't want to use a water bottle, you can always use a Coca-Cola bottle. They are a little bit more thicker of plastic being used, so that's always helpful. I'm going to continue this one on. So anyways, as you can see, this is really going to fill up and it's going to look really nice as you go. So take your time, make it look nice, do a couple different colors on it, you know, put a pattern in there if you want to. And just have fun. <laughs>